He began by asking him about a possible bid. I've spent the last seven years as a businessman in the tech space, primarily cybersecurity, but working with quantum computing and AI. And through that experience, and then I look back at my government experience, there is a lot we can do to modernize the government. And one day, my wife and I got up, we were having a cup of coffee, and uh, we said, something's broken. I mean, nothing feels right. And the people that we've met over the last 12 months are really politically discouraged. They're thinking that maybe politics doesn't work anymore. The government doesn't work anymore. So that's why we founded LEAD. Could we have a better, a better, more hopeful, optimistic message about who we are as Americans? And could we create real solutions to really hard problems? And so, Robert, that's taken me to New Hampshire and Iowa and South Carolina, and I've met a lot of folks. And so we're, we, you know, obviously we're kicking some tires and we're thinking, you know, is this the right thing to do? to bring a different kind of perspective to, to the 2024 race. And we'll probably know within a few months if that's the right decision. Have you set a firm timeline for yourself about a decision? Not a firm timeline, but we think uh, maybe late spring, early summer is the right time to do it. Everyone else is gonna get kicked off by then. And uh, that would pre probably be the right time if you are going to jump in to, to jump into the race. So we're thinking about May or June for you to make a decision? Uh, May or June sounds about right. So you're not maybe angling to be in that first debate this summer. You're taking your time to think it through. Well, I mean, obviously, this is uh, nobody should be Pollyannish about jumping into something as monumental as <laughs> for President of the United States. And so what we got, what we've been doing, Robert, is just the last few months talking to real people with real issues about inflation and jobs and the economy and what in God's green earth is happening internationally. It looks like everyone's flicking us in the head. Uh, and talking about all those issues, and I think we need a little more time to see if they are ready, voters are ready, in places that matter for a different kind of a conversation. So far, we've been really pleasantly surprised. So if we get in that first debate or don't, that won't be the determinant for us uh, to make that announcement. When you were making these visits to early voting states, uh, I think back to Jimmy Carter when he first ran for president in the 1970s. Some people in Iowa in New Hampshire, they'd go, Jimmy who? If they go, Mike who, what do you say? What's your very short introduction about who you are and why you're thinking about running? Uh, America needs something different, number one. Very rarely do you have a candidate who has been experienced in fixing tough problems in the federal government, as well as business experience, solid business experience in the new generation of jobs. Wouldn't it be great if we could combine that person and get them into a candidate? Candidly, I think that's exactly what uh, gets me in the door. And the, people are inviting me back, more importantly, to hear the solutions. If you uh, ran, you would certainly run your own race, it seems. I'm just trying to understand where you stand on Trump. If he became the nominee, would you support him as the Republican nominee? Uh, listen, I, I, I don't believe today as I'm sitting here that Donald Trump will be the Republican nominee in 2024. Don't believe it. And so that's my belief. That certainly takes me out and around. He, he may actually stay in for a while. Uh, I just don't think he, I believe he will be there. His troubles are mounting, his fundraising is waning. You know, and, and again, uh, people who, uh, I've had people show up with the red hats uh, at different conversations that we're having uh, with something called Lead America. Uh, and they end up saying, hey, would you come to my group and talk about this stuff? We haven't heard this kind of conversation. And uh, that's what I think is going to happen. I, I think uh, the candidate is probably not announced yet that will be our nominee in 2024.